Hi, and welcome back to Stories of the Saints. On August 14th, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Maximilian Kobe. Saint Maximilian Kobe was born as Raymond Kobe on January 8th, 1894, in the Kingdom of Poland, part of the Russian Empire. He was a Polish conventional Franciscan friar and a martyr in the German death camp of Auschwitz, Poland during World War II. Saint Maximilian Kobe was a very active in promoting the Immaculate Virgin Mary and is known as the Apostle of the Consecration to Mary. Much of his life was strongly influenced by a vision he had of the Virgin Mary when he was only 12 years old. And this is what he said when he met the Mother of God. That night I asked the Mother of God what was to become of me. Then she came to me holding two crowns, one white, the other red. She asked me if I was willing to accept either of these crowns. The white one meant that I would, should preserve in the purity, and the red one that I should become a martyr. I said that I would accept them both. One year after his vision, Kobe and his elder brother, Francis, joined the Franciscans in 1910. Kobe was given the religious name Maximilian. At the age of 21, Kobe earned a doctorate in philosophy from the Pontifical Georgian University. He would also earn a doctorate in theology by the time he was 28. St. Maximilian Kobe organized the militia Immaculata, which means the Army of the Immaculate One. After witnessing demonstrations against Pope St. Pius X and Benedict XV, his goal was to work for the conversion of sinners and enemies of the church specifically the Freemasons, and he would do so with the intercessory of Mary. In 1918, he was ordained a priest and continued his work for promoting Mary throughout Poland. Over the next several years, Kobe took on publishing. He founded a monthly newsletter titled The Knights of the Immaculata. He also operated a religious publishing press and founded a new Franciscan monastery near Warsaw, Poland, which became a ma major religious publishing center. Kobe also founded monasteries in both Japan and India. To this day, the monastery in Japan remains prominent in the Roman Catholic Church in Japan. In 1936, Kobe's poor health forced him to return home to Poland, and once the World War II invasion by Germany began, he became one of the only brothers to remain in the monastery. He opened up a temporary hospital to aid those in need. When his town was captured by the Nazis, Kobe was sent to prison, but released three months later. Kobe refused to sign a document that would recognize him as a German citizen with the German ancestry and continued to work in his monastery, providing shelter for refugees including hiding 2,000 Jews from German persecution. After receiving permission to continue his religious publishing, Kobe's monastery acted as a publishing house again and issued many anti-Nazi German publications. On February 17, 1941, the monastery was shut down. Kobe was arrested by the German Gestapo and taken to prison. Three months later, he was transferred to Auschwitz. Never abandoning his priesthood, of violence and harassment towards the end of his second month of Auschwitz, men were chosen to face death by starvation to warn against escapes. Kobe was not chosen but volunteered to take the place of a Jewish man with a family. It is said during the last days of his life, Saint Maximilian Kobe led prayers to Our Lady with the prisoners and remained calm. He was the last of the group to remain alive. After two weeks of dehydration and starvation, the guards gave him a lethal injection of carbolic acid. The story tells that he raised his left arm and calmly awaited death. St. Maximilian Kobe died on August 14th and his remains were cremated on August 15th, the same day as the Assumption of Mary's feast day. Recognized as the servant of God, Kobe was beatified as a confessor of the faith. On October 17th, 1971, Pope Paul VI canonized by Pope John Paul II on October 10, 1982, Pope John Paul II declared Kobe not as a confessor, but a martyr. Kobe is often depicted in prison uniform with a needle injected into his arm. He is the patron saint of drug addicts, prisoners, families, and the pro-life movement, and his feast day is celebrated on August 14th.
If you like this video about St. Maximilian Kobe, please press the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the saints, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you want to become a premium member and watch cinematic movies about the saints, all you have to do is go to thechristianchannel.com and support us by subscribing to our yearly streaming service on your smart TV. Thank you for watching, and God bless.